and welcome to my first ever video in my new series, Afternoons in June, with me. So I am starting this, and it's going to be a beauty video or a fashion video, any video that goes up on this Juicy Star 7 channel every other day in the month of June. And I was going through all of like the things that I already have planned for June and stuff, and I'm going on vacation and things like that, and I realized a lot of like my travel days and things that I already have planned are on the odd days of the month. So I wanted to put up a video on each even day of the month just so I have time to kind of like respond to your guys' comments when I first put up the video and stuff like that. So I decided I could either start on May 31st or I could start on June 2nd and I decided why not go ahead and start today. So hi guys and it's not June yet but welcome to Afternoons in June with moi. So um, yeah, this is kind of like the introduction video where I want you guys, yes I'm wearing my Minnie Mouse ears, um, but this is the introduction video where I want you guys to leave all the requests for this month. So any video that you want me to see put up um, on this month in my afternoons in June, whether it's beauty, fashion, no matter what it is, nail stuff. Look how cute my nails are. I got it done. Um, I'll put the girls' information below, but it was really inexpensive, and um, it's really great if you guys are in the LA area. Sorry, I know I'm kind of scatterbrained. If you guys are in the LA area, though, I definitely recommend her. She is the sweetest girl ever, and um, she does really awesome nail art. Like, look at those flowers. Can you guys see that? They literally distract me all the time. But any videos that you want me to put up in this month, I want this first like video to be kind of where you send the request. So throughout the entire month as I'm filming, I'm going to be coming back to this video and reading the comments on here to think of ideas and stuff because putting up 15 videos in one month, I'm going to have to have some help on some of the ideas because it's just going to be a lot of videos. Now more info on why I am wearing my ears. Um, it's kind of funny because every time I go to Disney, I've never actually gotten my own pair of ears. All my friends always do. It's always like the first thing they do when we go to Disney. They'll like run into the stop into the shop and get like ears and stuff. And when I used to go with like Sawyer and Ingrid and all of them, they always would wear ears. And I just never got them. I don't know why. I just thought like it was kind of a little bit of a waste of money to get. And then you just like wear them when you're at Disney. I don't know. But um, Remy says that her family has a tradition where they always get a pair of ears and she has them. So she was already like she had a pair that she wanted to wear. And so Jellybean was like, I want a pair. And it's the type of thing that I wouldn't typically get her a pair just because it is a little bit of a waste of money. But I was like, you know what, let's just do it. So we all had matching ears on and Jellybean thought it was the coolest thing ever. She's only 10 years old, so she felt like a princess like walking through the park and we all had our matching ears on and stuff. So now ever since then, Jellybean and I have been wearing them. And yes, we have gone out to restaurants with them on, we have gone everywhere with them on, and I absolutely love them. So these are my little Minnie Mouse ears. And the thing that got us through the lines, oh my goodness, the lines were crazy. And we went on a Tuesday and California schools aren't even out most of them at least I think aren't out for summer yet Jellybean already got out um, but her school starts back like a month earlier than California schools do but um we thought like oh it's a Tuesday it's supposed to rain like there aren't gonna be that many lines holy moly bajoli all the fast passes were like already sold out we waited so long some of the lines we actually did single rider just because the single rider lines were like an hour long and the other lines were two hours so we were like let's just do single riders and you know we won't get a ride together but it's better than waiting for two hours but what we decided to do is download audiobooks on our cell phones yes mine is cracked if you guys can see it's horrible i'm trying to hold out for the 5s though if anybody has any sort of like inside when it's coming out if you like know someone that like works up at corporate at apple or something let me know when the 5s is going to come out because my upgrade is on june 6th so i don't know if i should go ahead and just upgrade to the 5 or if i should wait for the 5s it kind of depends on when it's going to come out and i can't get it out of anybody that i know um i always go in and i try to i'm like i'm not going to tell anyone just tell me when it's coming out and they're like no we don't know and i'm like you're lying to me right now probably but um Audiobooks are what got us through the line. So I was listening to one, Remy had one on her phone, and then Jelly Bean had her iPod with her, her iPod Touch. And um, so we downloaded one on there for her. So I go to audible.com, I'll show you guys really fast. So I um, did the little Coco PPA thing on my home screen. So if you guys can see, I have really cute little um, like icons for YouTube and Twitter and stuff. But right down here is the audible.com app and I, 
have talked to you guys about this before. It is just kind of the thing that gets me through like lines when I'm driving. I'll listen to books. I still love sitting down and reading a book, but that does take a lot more time. And I didn't really want to be lugging around a book and like standing in line with it like open and taking it on the roller coaster with me and stuff. So we were all listening to different audiobooks, and the one I chose is called The Selection, and it is um, part of a trilogy. So I had heard a lot of good things about it. I think Elle might have even done a glitter gossip on this book if I remember correctly. I think I was with her when she was at the bookstore. She had picked it up. I don't know if she ended up purchasing it or not, but I do know that she was looking at it and she said she heard it was good. So I will go ahead and read the publisher's summary for you guys. It says, for 35 girls, the selection is a chance of a lifetime, the opportunity to escape the life laid out for them since birth, to be swept up in a world of glittering gowns and priceless jewels, to live in a palace and compete for the heart of gorgeous Prince Maxton. But for America's singers, being selected is a nightmare. It means turning her back on her secret love with Aspen. Dot, dot, dot. You guys can imagine what it's about. And it was actually really good. I'm not 100% finished with it. Um, it's a 10 hour long audiobook. So obviously I wasn't in line for 10 hours. And when we were driving and stuff, we were just kind of all like talking and singing and stuff like that. But when we were in the lines, it just got to the point where we were all like, just had our headphones in. We probably looked totally antisocial because we like all just had our headphones in and we were listening to our and own I've talked to you guys about audible.com before I love them I have a very nice relationship with them they um, always give my viewers if I want to talk about it in a video they always say just say audible.com slash Blair and you guys can download your own free audible book it can be the selection the one I chose or you can do any of your own just go to that link I'll put it in the bottom bar below so I always really appreciate that they will give you guys that deal um, because I feel like it's the type of thing that being swept away in an imaginary world of a book, whether you're sitting there on a hammock outside reading it or you're standing in line at Disney World and you're listening to it through your headphones, you know, no matter what it is, I do think that it's just kind of, you know, you're not seeing it on a TV, you're not seeing what the characters look like, you're kind of able to imagine it in your own head and I think that that's really cool because I feel like I always imagine not what ends up being if they make the book into a movie. Um, but that's really good. Another series that I love that I read when I was in 8th grade, I know I read The Uglies and The Pretties and then I think The Specials or the extra, the specials, the extras, which one came out next? The specials, and then the extra is another book that has to do with the same thing, but it's not like in the three series. I think it's the uglies, the pretties, and the specials, and um, that book is really good, but I know that I started reading that in eighth grade, and it's amazing, so if you guys want to do that, again, just go to audible.com slash Blair, and you guys get one free credit for a free audio. So today, afternoons in June, I wanted to kind of introduce this series to you guys and say that videos will be up every even day on the month of June, and I'm very, very excited about that, and if you guys want to send me any sort of request, if there's a certain tutorial you want me to do or outfit video if you're going to a graduation party and you want me to do something like just leave it in the comments below of this video and throughout the month I'm just going to be coming back to this video and looking through the comments to see what you guys have been requesting and I'm very very excited about it. this video I know it was pretty quick but I'm gonna go ahead and go make sure you leave your request in the bottom bar below and don't forget to thank our friends at or I guess I should just thank our friends at audible for giving everyone a free audiobook and it's really fun I was even listening Listening to them like as I was unpacking and everything it's just kind of it's different than listening to music because you're following a story and stuff like that and my grandmother used to always listen to books on tape when we would do road trips like back when I was like six years old we'd get them from Cracker Barrel so I've been listening to these my whole life and I love them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you a little later actually exactly on June 2nd in the afternoon this new video will be up so leave requests and I will talk to you guys later Bye. Teddy, do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? He's like, no, I really don't. I want to sleep. Okay, go back to sleep. Have fun. See ya.